If you have Vista, then you may have noticed that there's many, many fonts in the Vista font folder that you don't want, but for some reason you're not allowed to delete them. This is because with Vista, uh, you're no longer the owner of the font folder, and unfortunately there's no way to launch the font folder as an administrator. So, in order to become the owner of the font folder, you click on the Windows Start orb, click on Computer, right-click your C drive, click Properties, click on the Security tab, and if you notice, when you click on your username, you don't have full control. There's no check mark. So you can click Advanced Owner, and then click Edit, Confirm. Click on your username, and as you can see, I've done this before, which is why I'm the current owner. But, if this is your first time doing this, there may be a different name here. Um, on my computer, it actually said HP. Uh, I've seen some where it says Trusted Installer. Um, I've seen a couple that say Microsoft. So, click on your name. Click Replace Owner on Subcontainers and Objects. And this will make you the owner of the Vista font folder, as well as all the other folders on your hard drive. So, click OK. And you will probably get a couple of these uh, error pop-ups saying you can't apply it to certain things, um, which is normal because you're paging files in use and you don't need to be the owner of that anyway. Um, also the Windows Registry, it'll give you an error, here it is, when it tries to apply the settings to that and just click continue. Continue, continue, continue. And this whole process, depending on how many files you have could take anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour if you have a lot. Um, I'm actually doing this on a fresh install of Vista and it takes about 11 minutes. Okay, once you've once it's done applying all the properties you'll see this window um, basically just saying you need to close all your programs before the settings to fully take effect so you can just click OK to get out of all these windows and just to make sure it works I would recommend logging out and logging back in um, and once you log back in you should be able to delete most of the fonts you don't want however there are still fonts that you have to keep such as Arial Bold and Normal Arial um, I think one of the Times New Romans and I'm not sure why you have to keep them, but you, in XP you weren't allowed to delete them either. But other than that, the majority of the fonts can be deleted. Um, one problem is, though, if you delete, for example, whatever font this is, uh, random Windows will randomly pick a font to replace it. And if that happens, everything will look weird and you'll notice immediately. You can right-click the desktop, click personalization and then click window color and appearance I think yeah window color and appearance advanced and then you can go through here and pick you know message box pick the font you want size and color and that'll get everything looking normal